on. What's up, y'all? Peace and blessings. Welcome to the Hustle of Culture Radio Show. Bring you what's popping here in the Philadelphia black art scene, the movers, the shakers, the hustlers of the culture. I'm your host for the next hour. I'll go by the name of E. Muhammad, a.k.a. E. The Poet MC, a.k.a. Edgar Allen Yo. You know what I'm saying? Shysta, a.k.a. Spoken Word Luke Cage, a.k.a. Black Power Man, North Philly's finest, Miss Betty's son. Lay ma. See, your, your intro is a little bit more aggressive than mine, brother. Uh, it's you just know? my nature, brother. You, you know, know what I'm saying? North Philly, Baltimore, you know you brothers just calm down there by the harbor. Word like all that water looking out there, y'all can just look out and be calm. I got to be calm when you look across the street from a bar in a okay. Chinese I, store. I, I, I got you. <laughs> Again, for those who are just tuning in, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Hustler Culture Radio Show coming to you live at blazing267.com. If you want to join the conversation, the number to dial is 215-435-0914. Now, the Hustler Culture Radio Show is brought to you by the Hustler Culture Convention Black Arts Expo, a quarterly event going down, gathering the Black Arts community for their networking, community building, dynamic Hustler Culture concert, all these sort of things. So, um, And make sure y'all are in a place to be for the very next Hustler Culture Radio Show. Uh, coming to you every second Sunday, every second Sunday here at Blazing267.com. And the next installment of the Hustler Culture Convention coming to you at the Philadelphia Cleft Club for Jazz and Performing Arts, March 18th, Women's History Month. We're calling it the Don't Touch My Hair Edition, celebrating the sacred. Yeah, you like that, right? Yeah, you like that. Yeah. Celebrating the sacredness of black women, because we got to get that in. Um, well, every sister I touched the hair without asking nice. first, don't, my bad. Don't touch the hair. Did you hear the song, man? I heard the song, the, the crown, the crown, I got the queen, you. the crown. I got you. So listen, for the next hour, we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna talk about some trending topics. We got a special guest in the building, my man, Eli Capella. Say what's up oh, to the people. What's good? Oh. What's good? It's your boy Eli Capella, aka Illadel Child, in the place to be. Much love for having me, y'all. Uh. Yeah, no doubt. And before I go any further, on the ones and twos, cutting it up in the biz act. The man in the black, that man in the back dressed in black. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all that. that was you see back in the day. My man DJ Reezy. What's up, DJ Reezy? One, two, one, two. I'm in the spot and the place to be. I see you eating shites. You'll be about to get Reezy is a real DJ. I grew up around DJs, some great ones. A lot of you cats just walking around with these laptops going to say DJ. That's a DJ right there. He's scratching Pay right attention. now. I appreciate the love, y'all. Hope you understand that he's that was him. He's scratching while he's talking to you. You got a lot of DJ karaoke going I'm on. I'm trying. So listen, real quick, before we get into the show, if you're watching Facebook Live, go ahead and, uh, you know what I'm saying, share that thing. Make sure somebody know we're Facebook Live. Let y'all see this shice over here. That shice Facebook Live, okay? That's me back here. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you get. Sure I was here. You know what I mean? And if you're on Instagram, check us out that way. But if you want to join the conversation, I want y'all to call in 215 435 And if you got the, uh, what's that, the, the TuneIn app? TuneIn app. The TuneIn app. If you want to join, have a live chat. You know what I mean? Just, just go ahead and, and, and press that uh, live chat thing. You know what I mean? So check us out real quick. So we're going to talk about a couple trending topics, man. There's a couple things that's going on. Always something happening. You know Always what I mean? something happening. And, and we got to talk Those about these things. Moments. You know what I mean? Uh, one, uh, Dr. Umar Johnson. Brother Umar, Dr. Umar. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about it. Matter of fact, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Dr. Umar... You know, one of the uh, the leading uh, respected black voices, you know what I mean? And, and some of these, you know, what they call conscious community circles or what have you. You know, he called himself the uh, the prince of Pan-Africanism. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, that's, that's a serious title to, to bestow on, unto oneself. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, that's the... I, 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 it's, I'm not really having a problem with that. Because if you know you you put that title on yourself, just gotta live up to it. If mm. if I'm calling myself King Shice or King of Philadelphia, that only means Ooh. I'm of service to my people. Mm. So a good king or good leader is a good servant. Mm. So that's all I'm you know. But I'm never going to say I'm the king and then look at my brother as anything less than. Oh, so right. he's a king. My man Eli's a king. DJ Lee's sure. a king. I stand next to kings. And as kings, we gonna serve Philly. Shout out to all my kings. I right, start started giving out. Uh, individual shout outs that take up the whole show. But <laughs> one love to all the brothers out here that's doing something. Peace to the kings and queens. Now, but don't, don't talk, don't, 
Okay, well, let's, let's talk about it, Shay. Let's talk about it. I mean, because, you know, as the team... I'm conflicted about talking about it because I got a call from some of the people that I was conflicted about Facebook and about it because you all, you, you, you kind of don't want to... Uh, Feel like you tearing down another brother. Well, right, we're not gonna tear down no brothers, and that's okay, you know we right. gonna do that. But as a people and as, as a, a public figure, as a community, come with the game. We need you know we need to discuss some things. So and so for those who are not too familiar with went down, and you know, um, you know, brother had a little has some words for another brother. That's another quote unquote leading voice, and I'm putting these leading voice things in quotations yeah, you because you know because it's, it's I keep it's, saying air quotes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's for you know whoever's into that sort of thing. But um, one of the things to talk about, though, you know, brother had a real human moment. I want to call it. It's human. But he recorded it and he kind of put the video up. You know what I'm saying? Where he went on another brother. You know what I'm saying? He used some real hardcore, uh, you know, very Philly. Had the, had the hat with the Bali on it with the, uh, oh. you know what I mean? With the, with the P on it representing, because he from North Philly, ain't he, Shice? Ain't he, Shice? Shice. I'm still waiting for the call. Okay. I'm still waiting for an OG, a youngin, somebody, a brother, a cousin. I'm gonna put it like this. We we deep in North Philly, especially going back for especially before gentrification came, gentrification came. And somebody always knows somebody. Like if I don't know Rasheed Wallace personally or David Reed, the boxer, Olympian, uh Dawn Stelly, we could go on and on. Uh politicians. Bottom line, you the rest Somebody, of the somebody gonna say Yay or nay? All right, show me the black facts on, on brother, whether or not, you know what I mean, from North Philly. But I'm going to table that for now. But nonetheless, you know what I mean, brother had a, a moment wherein, you know, they had to think. Now, I, I'm going to weigh in. I want y'all to weigh in. Anybody want to call up, talk to us about, you know, how you felt about the situation, 215-435-0914. But I'm going to say this on that. One of the things, I, I listened to the apology video. Which, you know, and shout out to Dr. Umar Johnson for doing an apology video. Because this thing was, you know, some of his youngest called him. And some of his elders called him. And some of the elders said, like, well, brother, you was doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Some of his youngest were like, you doing too much. And I, my hat goes off to the brother that, you know, because E the poet MC, E Muhammad, you know what I mean? E, I'm liable to do too much. And I ain't beyond nobody pulling me back. Like, yo, E, you did too much. Pull me back. And if it's my youngin', my peer, my elder pull me back. That's community when somebody can pull you back and you go, like, yeah, I'll, I take that pull back. So I respected him for that. Shout out to Umar Johnson for the pull back. But one thing he said in the in the uh, video, this is what I want to talk about in, in the apology video. It was a great thing that he did. He, though he apologized for doing too much, if you will, he put us on blast with the aspect of how fast everyone shared the negativity. For the record, I didn't. Sh I wouldn't share. Couldn't share. I spoke on it, but I wouldn't Word share. And I did share, I share it. the apology. Right. Well, I did share the apology, and and what? It was a weak apology. And we know. For that. I mean, well, it well, was. Before we get and to that, no. But let's get back to what you said. Him having a human moment. We all will have human moments and flawed moments, but you let's record it, upload it. Records, track records leading up to these moments. Uh -oh.